A clinical trial project involves several people and roles, from volunteers, principal investigators, site staff, health professionals, scientists, sponsors, research teams, all coming together and working together to bring new ways of treatment to people. One of the roles that plays a key part in this process is the clinical research associate, and that's you. So let's look at the part you are expected to play in the clinical trial process. Your role is to chiefly act as a liaison between the sponsor or the CRO and the site where the study is taking place. It is essential that the results of the trial are not guided by the sponsor's interest and that the data gathered during the trial is accurate and impartial. Your role is critical in ensuring that the study produces valid and correct results and making sure that the study is conducted as per the protocol and ethical and regulatory requirements. When you are assigned to a trial, your main responsibility will be to conduct regular site monitoring to check for coins, that is, compliance, data integrity, and patient safety. First, let's look at the site compliance. When you check for site compliance, you are checking for protocol adherence, is the study being run exactly as specified in the protocol? Regulatory compliance. Are the ICH GCP guidelines being followed? Are the necessary legal and regulatory documents correct and complete? And have they been filed? IP compliance. Is the investigational product or IP being administered to the subjects in the prescribed doses? Are the subjects provided with necessary information regarding the IP? Is the IP being stored with care in a secure area with restricted access and under appropriate conditions as specified in the protocol? Is the unused IP being disposed of properly? Regimen Compliance Are subjects complying with the medication regimen? Next is Data Integrity is the site recording the subject's medical data completely, accurately, in a timely manner, and as per the protocol? Is this data consistent with the data in the source documents? Are all the trial-related documents, for example, the informed consent form, the protocol, the investigator brochure, up-to-date, complete, and legible? And finally, there's patient safety. This is one of your most critical responsibilities. Is the site enrolling only those subjects who meet inclusion and exclusion criteria? Is the site following the informed consent process to ensure that the consent is truly informed? Is the site carefully managing and distributing the study drug to the subjects? Are all adverse events being properly documented? Are all adverse events and serious adverse events being reported to the Institutional Review Board or appropriate regulatory bodies on time. If you find that the site is not compliant with the protocol or regulatory requirements, that data is incorrect or incomplete, or that patient safety is at risk in any way, you need to inform the principal investigator at the site about these issues and document and report them to the sponsor. Once you have identified the issues, you need to recommend appropriate corrective actions that the site can take to address these issues and avoid them in the future. Corrective actions can include creating a new process, identifying and resolving underlying problems, retraining the site staff, helping the site reprioritize tasks, providing clarification, and so on. As you can see, as a CRA, you will need to wear multiple hats. You will need to be a reviewer, a documenter, an auditor, a coordinator, a trainer, and a problem solver. But the most important hat to wear is that of a communicator. It is what sets a great CRA apart from the good ones. All good CRAs have excellent knowledge of processes and regulations, terrific attention to detail, and impressive problem-solving skills that help a site stay compliant. However, great CRAs have the ability to build differentiated relationships with sites. They cultivate networks, build loyalty, and become sites.
trusted advisors. Great CRAs can influence site personnel with compelling communication. They are not afraid of recommending changes to processes if required. They do not hesitate to bring up issues, which otherwise can lead to surprises later, alienating the site staff. Passion for results is another quality of great CRAs that drives them to execute tasks efficiently. Personal attributes, such as learning agility, sociability, achievement drive, and planning and organization are key to a CRA's success. All of these behaviors go a long way in ensuring the sustainable success of the trial. As a CRA, you may not be as visible as the sponsors or the scientists who discover the drug, but yours is, nevertheless, one of the most pivotal roles in ensuring the success of a study. If you fail to do your job, even a promising drug can be rejected due to data integrity or compliance issues. Even though you might not meet the participants, the work you do will help bring important new drugs on the market and make a profound and lasting impact on the health and well-being of millions of people.